Hey drummers, hope you're well. Right, one minute drum lesson, here we go. How do I improve my drum fills? That's gotta be in the top five questions that I get asked as a drum teacher, that any drum teacher gets asked, to be perfectly honest. Here's my one minute, super quick, uh, shortest, sweetest, hopefully most helpful answer. Now for me, in my opinion, in my experience, the number one thing that's gonna in increase the quality, improve the quality of what we're outputting, to be honest, be it drum fills or drum grooves or just about anything else, the number one thing that's gonna improve the quality of what we're outputting is the quality of information coming in. So I'm talking about here exposing our musical brain to great music by osmosis. You've gotta spend time and effort over weeks, months, years, exposing your musical brain to the classics, basically. And by, by taking that in, working with those fills, like maybe in the first case, replicating them, but then doing your own thing with them, making some changes to them, that is the number one way, in my opinion, to build, build our vocabulary. That is why, and I know I labor this point a lot, but I'm gonna labor it again, I'm such a big fan of drum grade courses, be, be it regular Trinity, Trinity Rock and Pop, Rock School, which are all brilliant, or any others or any combination of those because what we're doing there is we're level by level, step by step, exposing our musical brain to brilliant quality drum fills, the great little moments we're seeing not only what the drum fills are, what they, the sort of vocabulary they contain, but where they happen in a song, how they punctuate one section going into the next. That is the single best thing, in my opinion, you can do. Increase the quality and probably the frequency as well of drum fills uh, coming in, in terms of the, the stuff we're exposing our musical brain to. That is your classic sort of top-down learning, isn't it? Like you're looking at the finished product and, then, and learning it, that's great. But there are lots of other things as well, of course. If we think more sort of bottom-up, more sort of skill-based stuff, I would think of some things, including, but not limited to, uh, taking simple patterns and orchestrating them around the kit, having the orchestration around the drum kit being the thing of musical interest in a fill, uh, using drum rudiments, using single stroke accents, like accents within a roll or accents within any, any uh, could be singles, could be doubles, could be paradiddles or anything else. Uh, linear drumming, I've got a whole video series about linear drum phrases, uh, changing up the rhythm as the main focus of musical interest rather than the orchestration, or as well as the orchestration. Listen, I've got a whole load of playlists that deal with drum fills. I've got one called Drum Fills, which has got about 100 or so videos on it, I think. I've got one, like I say, all about linear drum fills, building those up. I've got a short course, which is a more of an introduction to how to create drum fills. I've also got a Drum Fill of the Week playlist, which has years worth of weekly videos about drum fills on there. So that's my best answer. Number one and most important thing to say right at the start is continuous and over the long term exposure of your musical brain, in my opinion, to the classics. Like learning good quality information, good quality material is the number one way you're gonna improve your output. Uh, every time you learn a cool fill, be it in grades or anywhere else, learn it, like take it, learn it note for note, but then play your own thing with it, like sit with it, have it for a week, play around with it, make some changes to the way you orchestrate it, add in your own little elements, that's great. But then all the other stuff as well, skill-based, building it up from the ground up, orchestration around the kit, accents, linear stuff, changing up the rhythm, and tons of other stuff besides. What I'll do in the pin comment below, I'll put all the playlists that I've made about drum fills for you to check out. Shout out to anyone who's ever asked that. Hope that's helpful and see you soon.